Hello guys, and welcome back to the League of Legends. Today we are playing Support Trindamir, so let's see how that might actually turn out. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna guess it's gonna be a bit difficult to get used to, so I might have to play another game. This might only be take one, and you guys might never see it, but let's try our very best. You see, decrease the surrounding champion's attack damage by 20 for 40 seconds. That's something that's gonna be really good in terms of trading. Sorry guys, got interrupted by the announcer guy. So this is what I'm going to start with. If there's any auto attack trades going on between maybe the Kog'Ma and the enemy ADC. Let's go over the teams real quick. We have Top Riven, Mid Zyra, Jungle, Warwick, ADC Kog'Ma, and Support Trindamir. Then they have Jungle, Volibear, Mid, Vyga, ADC Kog'Ma, so yeah, two ADC Kog'Mas. They have a... Sorry guys, a little bit of 30 seconds to me for interruption. Then there's Top, Shan, and Leona in the support lane. So that's going to be a bit difficult. Going up against another sub tanky kind of champion is not going to be good for a support training here. You see, there's certain ways to make every champion work as a support. You guys just got to figure it out. That's my that's my honest opinion. As Trindamir, he has this. If the enemies are trying to run away, you can slow them down to allow perhaps your cha teammates to pick him up. Well, then it also always has that 20, da 20 attack damage decrease for 4 seconds, which will give your ally 4 seconds of increased trading potential against the enemy champion. Then they have, and then there's Undying Rage, which I plan to use to become like, I'm, I'm going to become really tanky rather than anything else. So I'll be tanky, then I'll become an, be immune to death for 5 seconds. So let's see if we can't just get something done here. I'm actually going to see if I can't go ahead and... Hit that for a bit, then walk away. Just walk away. So yeah, we have two Cogmas against each other, so that's definitely going to be a bit interesting. We're going to have to see how that goes down. So let's see if I can't get this for my ally. Good, good, good. Going to take some poke for it, sadly. She has her W on, or that was Zenith, or whatever. Shield smash in order to get a stun off, so we got to be aware of that. Let's see. She started with the Ancient Coin, so... Warwick needs help. I don't know what he means. I mean, this Warwick... He works a pretty good clearer, so I don't know if he really is going to need help. I don't know why he's doing an all chat as well. It's just a bit odd, in my opinion. So, let's see. This wave, yeah, it has the canyon minion, so I should let... I shouldn't try to get any other minions with it. With the... Uh, spoils of war until we get... Until I can secure the canyon minion. Let's see. He can get that with ease. Gonna say the... MIA, because it's always good to let your team know, just in case, just in case. Okay, um, let's go with the re. It's always good to let your team know, make sure they know what's going on. The Kogma, okay, he was just taking back. Instead of going, we have a Warwick, so we know that we're not going to get ganked too early. Volibear can definitely get off a bit of an early gank, so we should be a bit worried. But for now, for now, I want to put the war down here just to check. Now let's see if I can't get this for him. Get him the extra spoils of war bonus. That's good. That's good. Everything's going according to the plan. It seems like Al Kogma is winning. So that's pretty nice. Al Kogma actually has been staying far back. So let's see. He might be a bit afraid of the Trindamir if I go f just for damage. He might be afraid of that route. But we don't know. I'm actually not going to level up my Q. I'm going to level up my W for the most part. So let's see. E goes on. I'm going to level up my W, increase, see if, it all depends if it increases the slow or not. If it doesn't, I might just increase my, some other move, depending on what the bonuses are, which is something I'm going to have to check. So let's see, we're already level 3, going to go ahead and get stunned, not too big of a deal. I'm not too afraid of a Kogma. He's going to try to run away, so I'll slow him down. Going to exhaust him. So Kogma should be able to take him out no matter what. This Kogma is going to try to explode on me, so I'm just going to flash away just in case. Don't want to give them a kill, no matter the reason. See if I can't go ahead and give them the spoils of war. Yep, so everything is going pretty well so far. I'm going to just try to get off as many hits as possible. They're not going to be super strong, because I'm not really going to go for attacking, auto-attacking minions too much. Which, if I was a bit more, you know, professional, perhaps knew how to play the like, champion a bit better, it might actually be something possible to do that. So I'm just going to let it go off. Let's see. Okay, attack speed reduction and movement speed reduction. Yeah, that's going to make for a really powerful slow and a really powerful reduction in attack. So that's actually going to go really well with exhaust. 
because this reduces their armor magic resist and their damage by 40%. So combining exhaust and mocking shout at higher levels, it's just gonna be a massive, massive downgrade to the opponent. So if I can go ahead and let's say we need to worry about the Kogma, I can pretty almost like if I can get close enough to him to use that move on him and use exhaust, for the most part I'm gonna be able to shut him down in team fights. So it doesn't matter if he's in the back line trying to shoot. If I can just E to him, get E close enough to exhaust W, that's going to be a really powerful counter. He's targeting the Gromp. I don't know why, I'm supposed to say. Does he want someone to take it? I have no idea what this works. The deal is, he might be a little mad because he w was trying to be the support. Oh, no, they're going to stun him. So I'm going to go ahead and slow them. That was perfect. They were focusing on the Kogma, so they will had their backs torn to me. Which meant they could get slowed by me. So that all worked out pretty well. I don't know why the Kogma is still staying. Because there's definitely a big risk if he does get caught out. But if they do attempt to dive, there's a good chance we could counter it if he doesn't take too much damage. So I'm just going to Q whenever I can to keep my health up. Okay, so he's definitely trying to get off a little cheeky move here or there. Going to get this for Kogma. Ooh, I used it instead of when I should have used it on that. Oh, and look. The Warwick's going in, so I'm going to go in see if I can help the Warwick. Ah, uh, dang. That was not the best time for him to come in. I don't think there was much we could have done after all. After all that. And I haven't... I'm actually going to go... I'm actually staying back just to see until the Kogma gets a bit more health, but I want to go back and get my sight zone soon for the extra vision. Because right now we don't have that vision, which is just a bit bad. But not too bad. I mean, if we really stay under the turret and try not to go too far, it should be 100% fine. So let's see. We're going to say that the bot lane is MIA. Just let them know that he's gone. So I'm actually going to go ahead and try to get off maybe a few hour attacks. Just increase my self healing a bit with my Q. See if I can't keep top tip shape. And now that I'm almost level... Six, I'm actually going to be have a bit of a power spike there, being able to tank or go a lot more for a kill. Okay. I'm actually just going to lower his attack. Try not to steal. Okay, wow. Come on, get it out of here alive. So I'm going to go ahead and see if we can't just get this for the Kogma. Nope, maybe I can just get off a few good auto attacks. What? Aw, uh, dang, if I didn't Q, if I Q'd I meant and I exhausted it, I just didn't think I'd need it. My bad. I assumed I wouldn't need to Q exhaust just yet. Okay, and also he asked if I had a Twitch. I have, I stream on Twitch on Saturdays. Just let him know. So, yeah, no problem. I mean, we did get that first few kills, so he should be pretty powerful. And uh, gonna go ahead and Ruby Crystal, Sightstone, get this kind of ward. Let's see, what else? Building to my next item, I'd say Randuins would be a pretty strong item on Trindamir support. And the armor would be pretty nice for this lane. Let's see, right now they do have a bit of AP, so I'm going to have to build quite a bit of magic resist. So I'm probably going to go for the Iron Lock of Solari, as it gives a uh, area effect magic resistance and armor buff to our team. So that would be pretty good. Top lane should be fine. Let's see, right now it's 3 to 5. Out, Death, me, Trinibir, and, and Warwick are the worst stats on our team. So right now we should actually be pretty fine all across the board. So let's see. I'm not quite level 6 yet, sadly. Just going to go ahead and get this for him and wait a bit for this guy. See if I can't get this one for him, too. Chink, tank the t enemy minions for a bit. Keep them off the tower. So I'm going to just go ahead and get ready if I have to use my ult at any time. I'm not going to try to steal. I'm actually just going to back off. See if, yeah, I didn't think he would need me to really help too much with that. So that's good. I'm just going to back off now. Good job. I managed to get, kind of just be there and kind of like tank any shots needed. Yep. 
I knew she would do that, so I just kind of backed off. So it's actually working out pretty nice now. I kind of got the groove and what I need to do. And look at this. Reduce the attack by 50 for 4 seconds and reduce the speed by 45. That's an AOE slow for 45 seconds. That's incredibly strong if you play it out right. Sadly, I had it back a little bit too soon, so I'm actually going to undo this and just go for this guy. Ooh, so Warwick actually got the Leona, who had gone mid for some reason. Well, that's interesting, at the very least. So right now, our team is definitely winning by a good amount. I've managed to get the Kog'Maw pretty fed. Ooh, okay, it looks like Volleybear's backing off. That's pretty good. Volley's like, uh, running after the Kog'Maw. Kogma is pretty healthy, so he should be able to continue being in lane and farming. And our Kogma is definitely winning in farm, so that's pretty nice. We gotta continue this ult in 30. Just let my teammate know that in 30 seconds we can go ahead and get a little, you know, aggressive. I saw that pink. Oh, is there a pink somewhere nearby? I'm gonna definitely go ahead and see if I can't find it. Nope, doesn't seem like there's a pink gonna go ahead and get this I don't know why he's attacking me simply because I do have quite a good bit of power there's Leona gonna try to predict a Zenith play but it seems like she's saving it for perhaps the Kogma. so let's see Volibear was recently bot lane but he could be anywhere at this point there's no real way to know so let's see he's using it to try to take the back line of the minions Instead of checking the bushes for me, perhaps. So, yeah, this would be a good chance to perhaps, like, go on the Kogma. I'm just not going to risk it too much. Okay, I actually have this, so I'm going to go ahead and knock that down, heal myself a bit. And look at this. 50 to 65 and 52. That's going to be, a, this is going to be a massive slow. If we can get, get him to turn away from me at the right moment, it's just going to be pretty dang massive. So let's see. So yeah, you see now that at this point they can't actually kill me. So I'm going to flash away just to not risk dying. And it seems like just because of that, Leona's in a pretty tough spot. So I'm actually going to slow her down and heal myself. Good job, bro. So, yep, we managed. That's pretty good. They kind of try to fight me, and I have my ultimate. So, just trying to take me down is just really poor on the resist part because it's going to be a really hard kind of idea to take me down simply because I have so much of those important stats. Like, I'm going to be tanky, so it's going to be hard to take me down in the first place. And I'm at my ultimate, so if they, as soon as they get me low, I'll, I'm going to start ulting just so. And the thing is, like, because they're focusing me, it gives it gives the enemy, it gives our Kogma like this amazing amount of time to just kind of wail on them with his range. Because if you guys don't know, Kogma has a really far range ultimate. His W increases his attack range. So he becomes really strong and he kind of is like uh, a living artillery as his ultimate. He becomes like an artillery cannon where he just stays around the back line and just takes him out. Like right now I'm 0 one We're doing insanely well. Okay, ult in... 30 now so it's a little bit not perfectly timed but for the most part it's gonna let him know when I, ult, when I have my ult so I'm actually gonna slow him down pretty much then take him down with this either he's gonna have to flash or he's gonna die not gonna try to take that so I'm gonna back off and he's gonna run continue trying to run even though that means it makes his move a little worthless Gonna go ahead, take that for the Warwick, give him a little bit of exit gold. Not too bad, not too shabby. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and just check something real quick. The minions right now, there's the cam minions in the next wave, so I'll just go ahead and do this. The dog went up to the bones. I see how it is. Oh, he's talking about how like Warwick's a wolf, which wolves are kind of like dogs. So let's see. This isn't gonna be too great. This is just gonna take down the cooldown and increase the base damage. Heal Pull Fury. I'm just going to go ahead and do this because it's going to help me be a bit more tanky, even though it's not too great. Yep. So let me see. Just going to go ahead and take some of these down for him. And we could probably try just standing the alone and dance. Can actually put some more wards down. Oh, there's a Leona. Don't know exactly why they're going on me. So I'm actually just going to stand here. They're going to try to take me down pretty low. I'm actually going to go ahead and ult now. I have a pretty good heal. Gonna try to E out. 
They know they can't really take me down, which is good. Kogma got off a lot of free damage, and was able to take out the Leona. Well, in his own right, he didn't take too much damage himself. I'm actually going to stick here. It seems like the Vibear is going to be able to catch the Kogma, so I've managed to... I was just stuck back, just in case I need to slow him down. So, trend support question mark. <laughs> just see how he thinks of it now, because in the... He showed maybe a bit of worry in the beginning, just in case he didn't know if it was going to exactly work or not. So let's see if maybe he agrees in the ultimate power that is support, whatever, support Trindamir. Like you guys, I wasn't even sure of this myself, but I actually feel like it does have quite a bit of power. Oh, and now he's taunting Mother Toy, which definitely gives him the advantage in any team fight. Oh, I forgot to mention this to me in the game. I apologize, Mr. Playmaker. He was the least in in our last game with the Amumu. So we actually kind of like joined him up because he did a pretty good job in last game and he's doing a pretty good job this game going 4 and 1 so we just wanted to like just play with him again and he actually this is actually kind of all pre-made actually these are his friends that he invited so I'm actually gonna come behind the Kogma there's a pink ward up here so I'm actually just gonna go take that because if they will pay attention they'll know I'm here or at least coming so I don't know why this Leona is like getting a little frisky she's just getting close like as if she could really take me down by herself what oh that didn't work and I'm gonna go actually go ahead and make sure you know I'm gonna be close to the riven since Leona's actually nearby so let's see if we can't slow down the volleyball okay yeah this is actually probably gonna turn out pretty bad in general so I'm gonna uh, actually bail I'm just gonna run so it seems like Zyra's probably gonna help me I'm gonna just Stick around here for the possible if she needs me. Gonna jump out. So let's see. Overall, it seems like. Oh no, Zyra. Plus, plus, Zyra live. Okay, it seems like Zyra's gonna live. I'm gonna say she should probably back off. The only. Ooh. She gets sniped in the face. Yeah, there's not much we can actually do here now. I'm gonna. Stick around, kind of heal a bit, see if I can't, like, just kind of show off my presence. Okay, never mind. Seems like the Riven's teleporting, so I was just thinking I was going to have to defend this alone. But now, I might think about just sticking around in case they need the massive amount of, like, look at this. 80% for attack damage gone for 40 seconds. Reduce the movement speed by 30. Combine it with the reduced heal, movement speed and attack speed on 30%, it just, this is literally going to be like a complete and utter shutdown, they're almost going to be, they're probably going to be, it's going to make them super slow in general, ooh, I don't have enough for anything yet, almost have enough for this, so I guess I'll wait for it, so yeah, we got the Kogma fed, I'm going to say that's really a lot to do with us, the Kogma himself is really good, I think it's him, I don't know, I'm going to assume it's a guy, because that's the idea, yep, Yep, I'ma uh, upload it. I, you know, he knows uh, I. I he actually checked out my YouTube channel before Playmaker, which is pretty cool. He checked out some of my videos, so I kind of invited him to go. No, Wolf's just like, uh, Wolf doesn't want it to upload. Please no, ah, uh, ah, uh, please Warwick, don't, don't be like that. I mean, I don't. If he really, really doesn't want it. If he really, really doesn't want it, I won't do it. But that's going to really set me back, guys. That's really going to set me back. If you really don't want it, I will not. But, yeah. So, I don't know why the Kogma is just going ahead and just throwing that over the wall. I have all my ability to heal. If you really don't want to, but... It'll make... It's cool, bro. Ooh, they're all coming here, so I'm gonna run for my life. Actually, exhausting the enemy Vigo just in case he comes after me. Not super necessary, but, you know, not the worst move ever. Gonna go ahead and stick around, do some damage here. Ooh. So let's see, they're not focusing me, which is something that they have been doing for a while. So I'm just going to be here if I need to ult. 
and I get a quite a bit of a heal. So I think Al Kogma should easily be able to take them out. I'm just gonna be here to try to do my best in terms of tanking damage. Ooh, I ended up dying, but I think in terms of giving it to the Kogma and getting him even more fed, the death was definitely worth it because now he's 12 1 0, which is definitely gonna be massive for him. So yeah, my heal is pretty, pretty going pretty bad, but whatever. Let's see, next item I want to get, I got this, which is going to be pretty nice for the basic attack, but I think, and before finishing the random zoman, because that will be a powerful item, it will be, so I definitely want to do it, but I kind of want to go ahead and walk towards getting this, because if you guys look, I mean, it's going to be amazingly strong, it's going to give a uh, magic resistor and base health regen over to my teammates, which is definitely going to be really needed, because if you guys look, Shen is AP, he's not going AP, but he does AP damage, Leona has... Like, Kogma is a mix of AP and whatever, and Volibear is AP. So overall, they have more AP damage coming through than attack damage. He's going, like, they have three tanks, actually, which is kind of interesting. So the main real targets will be Vigar and Kogma, which won't be, which they both do some sort of AP, but they're not going to do too bad. I'm going to slow them down, be there. Let's see if we can't get out of work another kill. I'm hoping the Warwick gets it. Nope, the Riven's gonna get it. Sadly, the Warwick score is 3-3-3. Three, three, three. It's not too bad. So, Warwick. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't want to get uh, stuck out here. Gonna go ahead, slow him down, not do much else. Ooh. I want to try to save his life. Uh, my shield couldn't save him, sadly. Hopefully, you know, I don't get eat and, like, slow down and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and slow him down and just wail on him a bit. Going to dodge that whatever it's called. Oh no! So yeah, Zyra definitely got pretty one-shotted. Going to slow down the Vigo for the Riven to get it. Just get as many assists as possible. Give out, since I do have a full ma fa face of the mountain, I believe it's called. Yeah, face of the mountain. I'm definitely going to give off a lot of gold to my teammates. So, Warwick, if you really don't want me to, I won't upload. So, just going to say that out loud there for him and me. I mean, this is going to be a shame because this is a really good game, but if he doesn't really want me to, I mean, it's if he doesn't want to, like, he doesn't, he's probably having a, he has, he's been having somewhat of a bad game. I'm sure he's much better, and this probably isn't an active representation of his own skill, and that's probably why he doesn't want it to be uploaded. And I mean, like, if I had a really bad game, I wouldn't want... I mean, I don't think I'd care too much. Oh, wow. Okay, so I may or may not... Well, I'm not gonna die. I may have... It's like whether or not I have to ult. Ooh, he's gonna die. Gonna slow them down. Gonna ult there just in case he turns on me. Not too much of a problem. I still have a lot of health. Ooh, Riven is getting pretty dang low, so we don't want to risk that. Okay, don't really need to do too much there. Gonna not really get a chance to throw off my W, but I do still have my heal. Don't have my ult anymore. Kind of used it just in case he got it close enough to kill me. So let's see. Let's see. Can we get him to come after us? Perhaps maybe try to pull us underneath the turret. Oh, there's a Warwick. So let's hopefully say that Warwick isn't going to get it, sadly, but I was hoping he would because he definitely needs a bit more kills because to get going. Warwick is one of those junglers who really kind of benefits from just farming the jungle. So let's check out his farm. 58, not too bad, not too bad. Could be better, but not too bad, honestly. Especially because it seems like he has been trying to make a few ganks happen. Let's see if I can't slow this down or get rid of all her attack. The thing is, the enemy team is right over there, so I don't think I can do much. Gonna shield her with a pretty massive shield. If I have to, I will dive straight into them. Oh no, they're going on Kogma now. So I'm just going there to be careful. Try to save him if he needs it. Don't think he needs it, but hopefully now we don't die because of it. But I'm seeing the Vigo as a squishy, easily exploded target if we do go in on him. So this is kind of what I'm aiming for. Gonna go ahead and attack this. Maybe get some healing off on the Kogma. While getting myself up the ability heal. That's good. That's good. 
Oh, uh, Riven's being chased pretty far, so if she can turn this around towards us, that will be pretty good on our part. On her part. Hopefully she doesn't die. Cause Okay, we're just here to be really close by. Okay, so she's not gonna die. We have our ultimate now. Wow, this is going pretty chaotic. Gonna heal. Don't think I need a fully full on ult now. Vyga is dead. Oh, he's got in a triple kill. The only one alive is Leona. I have no idea where she is, sadly. So we're gonna go ahead and just run through these bushes. Maybe find her backing somewhere. See if we can. Oh, hey Leona. I don't know. I probably won't be able to 1v1 her. Oh, she got that out of the bush. I'm just gonna go ahead and destroy it. Be a be a be a jerk. Gonna put this on too. Oh no. Yeah, I can't get rid of that. She's doing that just to be like one up me. Gonna just blow out there, don't wanna really fight her. Maybe see if I can't bait her for the Kogma. Cog she's not sticking around for the Kogma. Gonna throw down another ward for her. Like I said, I have no real need to ward, so I'm just gonna back off. Ooh, our um, Riven's coming, teleporting in. Hopefully for some fun times here. So I'm gonna go ahead and spam my ultimate because I'm probably gonna die here. I'm gonna flash out. Hopefully I don't, uh, yeah, I'm gonna die to the ignite. My third death, but I have 24 assists, so I hope you guys don't mind that I ended up dying. You can go ahead and get the Iron Lock of the Solari. Just for that team shield, it's pretty nice getting off that multiple shield. Then I can go ahead and start building again towards my Randuin's Omen, which will go into good synergy with my um, W, as it will give them um, even more. It'll give it the attack speed slow, but it'll also give this slow. So I might not get all the slows off, but for the most part, I'll be able to get off a lot of slows, which will be pretty dang nice. Hopefully, Riven does get out of there alive. Hopefully, it doesn't seem like she might be able to, but hopefully, she can get out. Okay, Riven's uh, Zai was there just to kind of make sure she does. Good job, Riv. That was pretty nice playmaking there, but I guess that's why he's called the Playmaker. And I don't think Works replied to whether or not I asked him. If you don't really want me to upload it. Okay, yeah. He, he, he didn't say not to, so I'm going to take that as uh, I can, even though I hope he doesn't mind. I mean, I've given him twice. I've asked him to see if he doesn't want me to do it. Twice to make sure he sees it. So he's either not responding because he doesn't want he f probably might feel bad about it or making me have to like not upload it so I'm gonna go ahead and slow this guy down pretty well he's gonna probably go down ooh so Trinity Mirror's going ahead and ooh gonna give him a big slowdown let's see how, like, how much speed we can drop him to a hundred something So let's see if I can't go ahead. I'm going to shield myself. Heal. I might be dead here. Might be dead. Let's see if I can't outplay them at all. Nope, I'm dead. But you know, I managed to kind of bait them a bit into my team. If, you know, sadly there, they do have quite a bit of a better team fight than we do because they had all their tanks there while we had me, who was near dead, Warwick, and Kogma. Even though Kogma could attack with the wall, he really didn't have a too big of a fight there. Oh, and the, uh, dude, is that a Quadra kill for the Riven? And only, uh, dude, Quadra seems like the playmaker is making his plays. Bum -bum -bum -bum. No, I'm just kidding. That's a horrible pun. Oh, is this for the Penta, guys? Is this for the Penta? Is it going to be too late, though? It might be too late. Let's check. But if she does make the Penta, that will be awesome. Oh, the Penta! Woo! Now, I mean, I feel bad if I didn't upload this. Huh. <laughs> Did anyone catch the number of, pl number of the plane that just crashed into us? Oh, l l did Leona give it to her? That's so rare with Riven. LOL, not. Uh, they're being a little bit like saying, oh, Leona's easy to get Pentas with. But, you know, she did really get strong in the early game against the Shen. 18-5-10. I'd say she's done a really good job because we really have... We got no assist from all. Mainly we've got our assist from the enemy team. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can help the Warwick with Baron. Oh, he wants to start it? Okay. Just gonna give him those shields to make sure, you know, he can survive a bit longer. Gonna dodge that. Nope, I thought I would. I thought I got out of the circle just barely enough, but I didn't. So let's see, can me and the Warwick take this? I'm a little worried about the Warwick's well-being. Yeah, he's dead, so I'm just gonna be like, bye! 
And I'm actually going to put a ward over the wall, make sure they don't start doing bearing themselves. And it seems like our team caught them out, so that's good. Ooh, I was hoping to E in and then W for the assist, but that didn't happen. Luna not, not messing around, just automatically flashing out. Going to go ahead, slow down the Vigar. Look at that speed reduction. He died just from being too slow, that's like... Oh yeah, that, you just saw that slow, like... 60% slow is nothing, nothing to sniff at. Like, look at that slow. Brings him down to 200 speed. Let's see, let's watch him a bit more. What's his actual speed? 300, like, that's, that's almost, uh, that's 182 speed I took off him, basically. Like, you gotta admit, that's an amazingly powerful slow. That, and combined with other things that I have, it's just amazing. Just gonna ult here. Gonna give my shields to my teammate. Try to heal my best. Probably gonna die here. But Riven's gonna get more kills, hopefully. Let's see. Yep, our team's gonna get some more kills off our death. So we're 529. We have almost six times. Never mind. Now we have we have six times. Oh, yeah. Now we died here. But guys, we have six times the number of of assists. Six times we have six times the assist number of assists of our death. I don't know how I'm supposed to say that, guys. I honestly don't know how. Like, I think I've been doing a really good job, so hopefully my team agrees. And if I can upload this, this will be a really cool thing for me. But if he doesn't want me to in the end, I'll feel, I'll feel, I'll feel bad if I do it. You know what I mean, guys? You don't want to do something that purposely is, you know, that someone else doesn't want. I'm actually going to go ahead for Frozen Mal. I actually get some damage along with that. No. Let's see. Frozen Mal, it will actually give my auto attacks slow is like basically this is just gonna make me no matter where they are no matter what they do I'm just gonna become like a slow bot I'm nothing but slows at this point that's the only form of CC I have I kind of become a tank I kind of dive in there and try to draw their attention but I mean like that is just damaged almighty okay I mean I'm glad that Warwick got that because he's having a bit of a bad game I don't think he's been a bad player he's making he's making some good plays it's just that he had an underwhelming early game, which is definitely not going to transition good to his late game. So, I'm sure, like, this work, if you were to check his match history or check his, like, history as a player, I'm sure he'd be a really, I'm sure he'd be a really strong player, so I don't doubt that at all. And I feel like doubting that, like, a person's good based on one game is just mean, like, because you don't know what happened. Like, I wasn't paying too much attention to what happened in his juggle. So, let us see. Can we just take down this turret? I may not be attack damage, but I think I do a pretty decent damage to the start. Me and Walker are just going to take it down. Let's see. Slow him down as best as I can. Throw out my free key. Ooh, not going to take that at all. Going to take this whole game without kills, but it's going to be worth it. Going to slow down the enemy team. Try not to take any of these kills. Uh, I was hoping to give that to... I'm going to try to give a kill to this guy. Going to slow... Or not... Not slow down, but try to give a shield to my teammates and take this down. So I'm gonna wait. Shift GG, well played. Getting better at this, so guys. Hopefully, you did enjoy this video because I had a blast. So, so put you in If you go this build, like you saw, I just had massive slows, and they are AOE slow. So, I mean, this is gonna be massive if your team is ahead. I mean, it might not be so great if your team is behind, but if your team is ahead. Which, as you guys saw in the early laning phase, with all my slows and the decreased attack damage, Trinity Mirror Support can definitely shut down the enemy ADC by far, especially with his exhaust. So going this build path and going this kind of like path that with your spells and stuff is going to be a massive support benefit. Like those slows and the reduced attack damage is just immense. So if you guys did enjoy the video, remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time on the League of Legends. He didn't say no, so I'm hoping, hoping that means I can upload it. If I don't, guys, I hope you understand, but hopefully you guys will be seeing this. So I'll see you guys next time on the League of Legends.